Hey guys, how's it going? True here. It's time for some Fallout 4. So, I went ahead and, um, uh, I may or may not went ahead and downloaded a couple more mods. I think it's going to make our lives a bit easier. Ideally. Excuse me? One, it's just because it looks cool. And two, I went ahead and downloaded... Oh shit, Nick, you scared the crap out of me. Don't do stuff like that. There we go, Nuke World. But first, before we test out these add-ons or explain more about them, we gotta try to get back to the Commonwealth. Because I need to get to my crafting area. Because that's where all this stuff is done at. <laughs> so first, we gotta see if we can get that happening. Then we'll come back here and continue our job as an overboss. Kind of a weird name. Overboss. But I'm actually really thinking about trying to do a lot more mods. I mean, I already put a couple mods on there. I think I'm about really modding to split the game out. All right, let's see if this works now. All right, we can go back to the Commonwealth. Cool. All right, we're gonna go back to the Commonwealth. And we're gonna go back to our uh, main town, the Sanctuary. And we're gonna see if I did things properly and if the mods are working. If the mods are working, it's gonna help us out a lot. Um, one of them fixes our ammo issue. Not cheating either. Some it doesn't. It's not like easy mode ammo. It's a craftable ammo kind of thing. Whoa, look at that. I mean, you get all that robot armor, you figure you get a gun. Or at least, if you're gonna punch, have like a gauntlet over it so it hurts more instead of just your knuckles getting smashed, but that's fine. Wow, it's working really quick. All right. Let's see what we got here. First things first, let's come here. Craft. <laughs> yeah, this is working. Okay. Jacket. Uh, let's do. Alright. Oh yeah. Alright. How can we get out of here? So let me out. Yeah, I know like requirements to make that. Okay, it's the stuff I let me out. Is that the issue? Alright. Let's go back to load. Yeah, load that game. Alright, something happened. We were hit me hard weight limit. That's fine. Let's deposit some junk and um I think that's what broke it was we hit our late limit when we crafted it. So we don't want that to happen. First things first, if you notice we have a new outfit. And I plan on using it because it looks neat. And it's an overboss outfit because I won't lie. Our current outfit provides protection, don't get me wrong. But it's not really that great looking. I want something with more style, more pizzazz. You know? If I'm gonna be the overboss, I wanna I wanna have the look, you know. Let's see whether it's just fast. It's going pretty quick. Alright. Excuse me. Transfer, let's go, I think, here. Transfer. This is all junk. How are we doing? Wait, a little better. Do you have much of a business salvage? Third snapper has shot the fucking squirt gun. Where's all spite from? Oh, yeah, it came from, um, Transfer. That's probably a lot of the way. Yeah, that's a lot of it. Like, what are you up to? Inventory, let's go to this. Um, weapons are fine, apparel. Don't need that. It's fine. Alright, so now, quick save. Let's give this a try this time. I'm gonna run some diagnostics while you're tinkering. Take it. Good time. It's just not letting me yet. It's not letting me go back. Hmm. How do I have so much cloth? 
That's good blood. This is annoying. I was really hoping this would work, guys. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. Hmm. Let's do some other stuff. Let's see about ammo crafting first. Let's see here. Craft. Holy crap. I'll never craft ammo, though. That's it. Craft. That's it. Craft here. There it is. Ammo. Okay, cool. Three rounds. Where's. Do we have it? Can we make 50 cal rounds? 50 caliber. Awesome. Alright, we were able to exit. Inventory, summer shell, that's 308, yep. Uh, 50 cal. Alright, cool. It makes, I think it makes 25 ammo per thing. So I don't think that's too OP, so I'm okay with that. I think for now, let's go ahead and apparel. Let's take out the silver, sh no, it's silver shroud on. Put those all away. All right, there we go. That was a quick save. All right, let's give this a try now. Raft, power boss. It might just be the jacket. All right, so we do a low. We're trying to figure this out. I want to figure it out because I really want it working because it just looks cool. <laughs> If I can't use the jacket, that's fine. It'll be annoying, but yeah. Craft. Our boss. It's all of it. Hmm. What peculiar add-on? Let's see. Overboss outfit. Yep. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm reading something real quick, guys. Uh, sorry about this. Here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause it, and hopefully I'll get working in a few moments, okay? Be right back. All right, guys. We are back somewhat. Uh, I randomly, I'm trying, I got everything working, oddly enough, and it looks pretty good. I'm just coming here to check one final thing, and I ran into this guy, and he's like, hey, Did I need to talk, talk to you. Or what? So now, let's talk to him. Uh, I don't mind, I don't mind danger. So long as I get paid well That's enough. the new outfit. You will be well paid. I can okay. promise you that. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me. Okay. But you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Fair Come enough. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let As you see, we're rocking the overboss jacket now. All right. The hat's just temporary, maybe. Well, let's see if all the odds I've got on are working now. It ends up I screwed up the whole text editing thing. I'm an idiot, essentially. But I got everything working now, which is pretty cool. Hey, no more uh, radiation storm. Now let's check this out. Uh, inventory. Let's take off with a hat. Live here? You ain't nobody. Got it? Haircuts, right here. Yeah. What are my options? What are my options? You name it. Shit. Yeah. Haircut. Sure. All right. Take a seat. Let's see what we got. Uh, style. Uh, 
Yeah, there's a lot more hair in here. Okay. Okay. It's all bald. <laughs> Well, there's one way to check. Let's, let's do it. Let's see what we got. Affirm. This might not show up until we're actually walking around. Okay. Haircut. All right. Definitely want to fix this. Alright, so the hair I had on did not work. So we will be going halt high up because I don't want to be bald. I think we had... I forget what we had. Uh, Frazzled? Uh, I had no idea what we had. On the go. That looks like it. On the go? Yeah, it's definitely on the go. All right, we're going to go back to that. For your hair. I think we're good. We got our glasses on. We got our overboss stuff going on. I think it's time to go back and control these mercenaries. So, I won't lie. I may or may not have given up a lot of armor <laughs> to get this outfit on, but I think it's going to be fun. Uh, change of pace. But I hate the big bulky armor. I like to be small. Stealthy, sleek. I don't need big armor if I'm playing my thing right, you know. And now that I can craft ammo, hopefully we got enough ammo going. Now I won't lie; it took me about 35, 40 minutes to figure out how to get all this stuff working. So, ugh, man. All right, so. Word is, super mutants just hit the place. They're still trying to rebuild. Should be easy pickings. Oh. Seems like the work never oh, ends, so but I'll get it done sometime. I mean, I'm not all for you guys talking about easy pickings and killing people. Oh yeah, we should probably data confidence, man. Yeah, we need that going. Caught one of the traders stealing food. Oh, okay. Outside the gate. Yeah, then I got in a Are we going this way? Wow. Don't know how I feel about so let me get this right. Some scammer makes it through the gauntlet, takes out the boss, and now we're all supposed to follow her? How does yes. that work? She ain't even a raider. All I know is Gage was in the mountain the other day and he had a real long talk with Nisha. He knew her, right? Gage? Out of hell with that guy. What's he ever done around here? Hey, I'm just telling you what I saw. Hmm. You wanna know more about what's going on? What do I look like? An idiot? That last one died too fast. I'm losing my touch. Oh, yeah, yeah. I heard that. Interesting. I don't know how I feel about all these people. But I sort of want to kill everyone. But that won't do any good. That's, um, out of the ordinary around here, have you? Maybe something hidden, shaped like a bottle cap. I thought we told you to keep your ass at the market. Damn, Nuka Cola stuck in oh, wow. I don't know what's going on here, but. Hey, fella. What you doing? Ammo, salvage, drugs. At least some of that's got to be hiding in here. Okay. Lovely. Hello. Button. Up, Nick. Button. Going up. This is going well. What you say, Nick? Welcome home, boss. Hey. To yours now. Hope you like the look. Colder had some peculiar tastes. But this view, something, huh? Everything you see here is under your control. Okay. Well, I gotta start shooting. Gage. Welcome home, boss. 
The digs are yours now. Everything yeah. you see. Why put me in charge? I still don't get it. Why put me in charge? You may have noticed that our former overboss, Coulter. Easy done, I'll tell you. Fucking asshole. Yeah. And that's me being nice. Ended up being poisoned for this whole operation. The way I see it, surviving the gauntlet means you've got what it takes. Or at least the potential. You have both eyes. For a good while now, we've needed someone who can get shit done. Make real progress. If I'm really running the show now, let's get to work. Now that right there is... I don't want you thieving anymore. I was hoping for. Look, I'll be honest with you. This operation needs someone to step in and take the reins. Sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Leading outright ain't my style. And there's already some blaming me for supporting Coulter all this time. My talents are best put to use helping a new overboss get all this shit under control. You get me? Talents? What sort of talents would you say you have, Gage? Aside from being a good shot and having a foul mouth, I've run with gangs nearly my whole life. I know how raiders think, what they're after, and how to use that to your advantage. Okay. Trust me. I'm in this just as much as you are. This shit needs to work out. Okay. I hear you, Gage. Good. I know I'm throwing a lot at you all at once here. Let's take a step back and talk big picture, okay? All right. Nuka World. Shit. This was the dream. Huge. Built like a goddamn fortress. You run this, world is yours. Fair enough. We had a good head start on it. Got a lot of work went into getting the disciples, the operators, and the pack to work together. But we got here. About a year ago, we push in through the front gate, take over Nuka Town, get these traitors under our thumb. And then, well, Coulter got lazy. He was content to sit on his ass. Never bothered putting in the effort to finish taking over the park. Okay. Things got restless. And started pissing each other off. It was... Is... A real mess. What kind of mess? What kind of a mess am I walking into here? It was little shit at first. Heated tempers, arguments, the occasional shooting. Got worse over time, though. The gang started staking out as much territory as they could. All being on top of each other like this. Started looking for excuses to turn on each other. If something ain't done soon to settle things down, it's gonna reach a point there ain't no coming back from. Okay. I can, I can fix, this. fix this. I can make this work. Yeah? Man, I sure hope so. Look, I know these gangs. Been working with them or against them for years now. I'll help you, okay? Walk you through everything. First thing you gotta do is get the gangs behind you. Without them supporting you, you're not getting shit done. You don't have to trust them. Hell, you don't even have to like them. But you need them to respect you enough to follow you. Any of us? Have any advice for how I should go about it? Yeah, all right. The disciples like violence. The bloodier, the better. Tell them they'll get plenty of it. Mm. The operators are in it mostly for the money. They get promised caps, they'll listen to you. Mm. The pack, hell, I don't know. They follow whoever they think is the strongest. Show some teeth, I guess. <laughs> okay. Everybody don't likes worry. me. Everybody likes me. Yeah, I wouldn't count on. Oh. Uh -huh. Look, technically, you're already the new overboss, right? That's like half the work done right there. Just meet the leaders. Talk with them. Flex your muscles a little. Show them you mean business. Okay. Then what? What happens after they're on my side? Then we get started on taking over the rest of Nuka World. But one step at a time. You in? 
Uh, let's do it. Okay. For story wise, we're going to do it. Personally, I'm running out record numberators. You just need to show them you're the right woman for the job. I'll be here if you need me. You are the overboss after all. Just. So we got work to do. All right. Oh wow, we just go back to this way, huh? Well, what do I equipped? That'll do. I got my December's child equipped. I got some bullets for it. That really helps out. I think when it comes to actual DPS output, it's the most I got. Oh wow, look at this. Cal? Yeah, I'll take a 50 cal bullets. Love I bought her the drugs though. Three missiles? Okay. Watch out, Nick. Probably doesn't want to look around and see what's going on in here. Oh, uh, okay. Kind of freaky. Not really like all this mannequins kind of things happening. Nick, I'll meet you downstairs, okay? Nick, stop teleporting on me, okay? I don't like it. All right, let's go outside. It made me do a load screen? Okay, game, I'll play your game. Wait, what? Okay, Bethesda, I'll play your game. I go into the top entrance and the load screen. I come into the bottom entrance, there's a load screen. Huh. Interesting. Come on, fall for it. I know you can do it. You've been working good up to this point. There we go. Let's quick save. Man, I want to kill these bandits. I think I could take them in a fight. If I get up there, I just start sniping them, breaking them down. Blah, 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 play nice, got it. You don't like people. You're edgy. You're practically Reaper. Sooner or later, Kathy, I'm gonna find you. Gonna find you. Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's not fun unless you're up close and personal. Oh, is there some shooting going on? Uh oh. You're gonna head on in, old boss. Okay. I'm going on in. Nick, you're coming with me. Nick, this might be like a social experiment. Let's see how the raiders work on the inside. You know? Oh, that's a good sniper rifle. I like that. You can go. Hello. Hey there. Well. I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coltar. Man was Thank an you. idiot. And it's all looked bad. <laughs> Speak of idiots, look what's going on behind you. Stuck in his own little car. I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know, what did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his uh. knees? What were you discussing when I walked in? Well, you, Overboss. You're an Wait, uh, Who are you with? And we're interested in knowing who we're dealing with. So we'd like if you answer the question. Yes. What went through you as you crushed the life out of that oath? That's real. Taking down an opponent like that, it's thrilling. Sure looked it. Hmm. Perhaps you're better suited okay. to this than I expected. I kind of... Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Max. This is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along nice to meet you. co-conspirator, Lizzie. Okay, we operators. Crew. Call ourselves the operators. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only gang you should be backing around here. 
Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. Oh, okay. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. Uh. Making money? Exactly. There we go. Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. I, well, hold on. joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Okay. Though by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived large in his damn mountain top. Fair and enough. that means, if you're going to be in charge around here, we'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. Hmm. Money's my goal. My goal is to use this place to make all the money I can. Well, it's about damn time. Okay. Hmm. I look forward to seeing your claim. Valentine, I'm sorry. So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me. And we'll all be anxiously awaiting getting this place back to doing what it does best. Hmm. Not supposed to hurt the other gangs. No rule against tricking them into hurting each other. Interesting. This seems like the more cunning gang, to be honest. I think. Huh. I'm sort of having dealt with them first, but I think they're going to be the hardest ones to deal with. They want money. They want to rob people. Ugh. I don't like this whole situation, to be honest. Not a fan at all. Huh. Hmm. I mean, why can't it be something simple like me versus all the bandits? Like a big giant freaking like Rambo kind of situation where I'm just fighting everyone. That'd be a lot easier if I had to be honest. I mean... Valentine's already the second thing. So I might just send them away. I know... We might be flying this one solo. Normally have me frisk visitors. Hey. And there's something you need? Hey. Go ahead. Let's How talk. are we doing on the hunt for Eddie's tapes? Uh. Still searching. Still searching for him. Uh, just let me know when you. Hey. I'm listening. Uh. Nick. Hey, when you were in Dima's memories, did you find anything? Uh. Take a listen to this holotape, Nick. It's from the we pull off. Oh. Take a listen to this holotape, Nick. Okay. It's from the data we pulled off of Dima's memory banks. All right. Let me run this real quick. God. Dima really did help me hmm. escape the Institute? I wasn't just tossed out with the garbage. I must have still been in a haze from one of the Institute's experiments on me. Did I really attack him? Did he really knock the daylights out of me and leave me for dead? Damn it. Why can't I remember? Hmm. Uh, take it easy, Valentine. Take it easy, Valentine. People forget things. Especially after something traumatic, like what happened yeah, between there you we and go. <sighs> Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Well, I wanted proof Dima and I had history, and I got it. Now I just gotta figure out what to do. Should I give him a chance? Uh... <laughs> Valentine! He might just be the only other prototype synth that exists. Uh... This is awkward. I think you already know the answer, Nick. You don't need me to tell you. Huh. Maybe next time we swing by Arcadia. Mm -hmm. Thanks, by the way. Oh. Heads up. Now, I'll uh, see what I can do. You all right? You need something? No, I don't want... 
Just wanted to check in, see how you... I'd say we're pretty darn good, considering what we're up against. But there's yeah. always more good to be done. Uh... That was all I had. Well, all right. All right, that, that's still a quick save. I don't want to call so, it quits. Okay, I saw... Anything I can help with? Probably about time we parted ways. Your call. You change your mind. Uh, can I send you back to Diamond City? I'll probably send you back to Century. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, Nick, you don't want to be here for what I've got to do. Being perfectly honest with you there, Nick. Even though I'm not that thrilled by it, I'm the one doing it. But I am the overboss. I kind of think. Do we want a hat? Hmm. That's not looking bad. We'll go with a hat. Um. Hello there. Welcome to the nest, boss. We was wondering when you'd make it down here. Okay. So this is the pack. The pack follow who's strongest, right? Alright. Maybe I should just shoot whoever's in charge of the leg and just walk out. <laughs> I wish I had like a really high powered handgun. Hey doggies. Fucking don't crawl at me. Alright. No! Holy shit. Take something. It's yours. Oh, what? Hey. Excuse me. Now that I get a closer look at you, not sure I'm buying it. Oh, yeah, whoa. Problem? Are you gonna be a problem I need to solve? Slow down there, boss lady. We're just getting to know each other. Name's Mason, the Pax Alpha. This here's our side of town. Okay. You might be over, boss, for now. But I'm the boss of the pack, and it's gonna stay that way. Long as you don't go forgetting that, we're gonna be fine. Pack loyalty? Your people aren't gonna cause me any problems, are they? The pack does what I tell them. You don't get in my way, they won't get in yours. Uh. I'm not here to make us friends. I'm here to make us some caps. I think we can all respect caps. If not each other. Fair enough. It ain't like anyone's broke up about Coulter. Just figured on his replacement being, well, different. But Gage says you're the boss now, so. I don't like this whole sound in the background. You don't want to leave? You don't want to be over, boss. If I thought the other gangs would go along, yeah, I'd run this place in a heartbeat. Might have to. <laughs> I wanted to kill you. Black, that freak Nisha. Besides, you can't possibly be worse than Coulter. Coulter was weak. Coulter was weak. Why'd you follow him at all? Oh, I'm wondering that that ourselves. Don't get me wrong. Coulter was definitely overboss. Not a man to mess with. And things were good in the beginning. Real good. Mm -hmm. But that was a year ago. Then Coulter went soft. Wanted to take stock in what we achieved. What do you so, want? So, what is it you want? Caps, action, something, anything that's more than the sitting around we've been doing for the last year. Eh. I'm, I'm listening. Talking. Sure, this place beats living in the shitholes we had out there, but it ain't the palace of caps we signed up for. Ain't Fair none enough. of us happy, not even the disciples. 
and they're normally a chip or bunch so long as they're drenched in blood. Things were going to hell fast, but Gage put the brakes on that, got us together, and promised he'd find someone to deal with Coulter. Truth about Gage and Coulter? So, what's the real story behind Gage and Coulter? Hey, I only know what I've heard. Story is that oh, Gage man. talked Coulter into becoming overboss. And he got you in here, didn't he? Maybe he likes people owing him. Maybe it lets him get things done without getting dirt on his hands. After Coulter went soft, Gage got us behind closed doors and promised he'd get someone to off Coulter. And you did just that. Might have been the whole point of the gauntlet all along. Huh. I'm not Coulter, so that better not happen to me. Yeah, sure, boss. I get it. I do. We're totally willing to give you a chance. <laughs> we are. Look, let's cut to the chase. You gonna do right by the pack. I hear you've been talking to the other gangs. Don't worry, you'll get your fair share of the caps. Sure, fine. But it ain't just about the caps. It's also about respect. Mm. If you want us at your heel, we expect to be top dogs around here. One last thing before I let you go. There's always work to do around here, keeping the zoo in order. If you're ever able to lend a hand, Drop by. Loyalty's a two-way street. Huh. Before you let me go. I'm really sorry, Gorilla. I want to kill that thing, but... Mason tarred and feathered the last Alphas. What's going on here? It ain't easy keeping the zoo. All do our part. I do not like the fucking pack at all. I'm not liking any of these games. I just want to blow them all to the simmerings. <laughs> They're all horrible people. Man. Hmm. <sighs> I gotta think of something. Well, I don't think I can think of something. I think the game's going to present me an option to kill everyone. <laughs> Mason's been waiting for you. All right, don't talk to Mason. Not talking to him again. So everyone just wants to be on top. I mean, that's interesting. Misha really only has one rule around here. Don't get, don't get caught, huh? Misha could be interesting. That last one died too fast. I don't really have no shotgun shells to handle real all else assault, so. I don't like the idea of this Nisha, whose motto is don't get caught. Living so close to where my boss is. Living so close to where my house is, my bad. Watch yourself, boss. Because we sure will be. Okay. You read the back of my jacket, right? It says overboss. Listen to it. <laughs> Quick saving. Alright. Huh. Looks like a lot of them just want caps. They want to get rich. But they have a final goal in mind. I don't fucking know yet. Not some little greeny Gage dragged in. We're giving him a second chance. Hmm. Gage screws this up. He knows we'll skin him alive. So shut up and be patient. What about you, big guy? Nothing to say on the matter? As long as she doesn't get in my way, I don't much care. Yeah, figured as much. Both of you just get out of here. And make sure the others get the message. Hey. Hey there. So, you're Gage's little pet project. Watch it, lady. I'm no one's pet. Really? Gage made Coulter, and now here you are. How can you see? Everyone knows we all wanted Coulter dead. Of course, if I had my way, it would have been a slow, painful process. But whatever. Let's get this meet and greet over with. I'm Nisha. I lead the Disciples. We've only got one rule around here, and that's keeping the peace of this alliance. Otherwise, the way we see it, 
This world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping bombs on one another. Keep no peace? What do you mean by keeping the peace? It means do what you want, but don't get caught. The last thing I need is the operators and Pat breathing down my neck. We can take either of them one on one, but I don't like my odds when it comes to double duty. So keep the peace. It's the only rule we need. Fair enough. This world needs rules. Otherwise, we'll never recover. Rules are dangerous because people start to trust them. Yeah, that's they fair. Make you think you're safe, but once you turn your back, you're dead. Coulter thought some sort of rule or code made him untouchable. But he found out he was wrong. The hard way. Fair. Although I could give him a little credit. He built the gauntlet, after all. Of course, it was total shit at first. No imagination. But we spiced it up a bit. To be honest, it was still pretty shit. You call that a gauntlet? More like a cakewalk. Do cakewalks end in death? Because if Gage hadn't helped your ass, you'd be dead right now. That's doubtful. Just hope Gage is right about you. Do I think Gage you helped me when it was there? to get us here. You never followed through. So you better not screw this up. Because I'm not about to tolerate another round of bullshit. <laughs> Are you questioning me? You're over, boss. Not questioning. Just curious. They're really good about their words, damn it. We won't make the same mistake twice. Uh, Depends on what you're looking for. Someone who's not afraid to get blood on their hands and make some real changes around here. <laughs> you see, the disciples don't make empty threats. We make good on them. Okay. We aren't swayed by caps like those spoiled brats obsessed with their hair. Or those savage animals who can't behave in public. Fuck this up, and I will kill you. Although, I admit I have even better plans for Gage. But... If you support us and keep your promises like a good little overboss, we back you. You get to live, and everybody wins. Uh, threaten. I don't make promises, and you'll do what I say. Looks like you're already a step above Coulter. Yeah, showed some muscle. <laughs> For now. But if you change your tune and decide to play nice, there's no shortage of work around here. So if you're looking to prove you've got what it takes, mm. You know where to find me. I don't like where this is going. I don't want to be forced to support one of the gangs. Hmm. And none of the gangs look too great. One gang was all out for robbing people blind. One gang literally has people in cages and are having animals fight each other. And one gang literally has corpses and stuff butchered and thrown everywhere around their home. Not only is that just unhygienic, two of the gangs are just probably disease ridden. And the one for the caps, basically is going to rob the commonwealth for anyone they can to get here. So this makes things really tough to want to, to choose one to support. And plus, most likely, I want to fight the other two. Just ignore them. Told those freaks to stick to their camp. Okay. Nisha really only has one ruler. Don't get caught yet. Yeah, she mentioned that. Oh, I don't know why I jumped at this. You should really yell at this water, friend. I don't know why I called you friend. You're definitely not one. Things are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. I'm not a fan of you at all. Going up. Hey, Gage. The overboss returned. Well, if you're back in one piece, that's a good sign. Yeah? Anything all peachy with our friendly neighborhood psychopath? Sure hope you didn't promise them too much. I mean, going a little over the top is part of the game, but you don't want them holding it against you if you can't... That's exactly what's happening, Gage. What comes next, Gage? Next, the fun stuff. Time to roll up your sleeves, boss. There's work to be done. This place is huge. Divided up into sections. Parks, whatever the hell they called them back in the day. Okay. We need to take them all back. 
one at a time. Every section we secure gives us a little more breathing room and more resources. You stake a claim, plant a little flag for one of the gangs, and that settles it. It's theirs for good. Who gets what, that'll be your call. Whoever you hand it off to will appreciate it, but the others might get a little jealous. You know how it goes. Uh. Plant a flag. Are you serious? Dead serious. Look, you leave it up to anyone else, the gangs will all just fight over who deserves the space. A lot of these idiots can't read, so it needs to be as plain as day for them to get on board. They know what to watch for. Okay. So that's it. Nice and simple, right? Take a minute. Settle in if you want. And then let's get to it. And hey, we're in this together. So I might as well go all in. You want me watching your back? You just say the word. <sighs> What's, Why? In What's in it for you? For the love of sure. I'm the one that sold this whole idea to the gang. And I like my head where it is. So if I Tag along if you want. Oh, now this I got. <laughs> okay, we leveled up. This is interesting. Because I'm not a fan of this whole bandit situation. But I don't think I could do anything to change it right now. We got shit on charisma. Our charisma checks and work out really well. Uh, that seems fun. <laughs> wow. Alright, what do I want? I think last level I took was, uh, Rifleman, so we do even more damage. That's a doctor could be good. Scrounger could be really useful, too. Bloody Mass. Who is he? Why does he help? Who cares? There's your beer and bats in the head. That sounds cool. You're not stupid, just different. Read extra many action. Lower your intelligence. A greater chance. <laughs> that could be fun. Uh, Ninja's maxed out. Mr. Sandman snacked out. We go for more sneak. Let's do okay. Let's go with more sneak because yeah, reasons. I'm all for sneaking, so all right. So I think that's gonna be the end of this episode, guys. Sorry, this episode is a little long. First parts are probably a little bit boring. I apologize for that. I just want to try to get some of these mods working because I plan on doing a lot more mod business. They added some different variables to the game. So the people who've seen this before. Or play Fallout rigorously, rigorously. Play Fallout a lot. We can get a little bit more surprised.